In this video, I will show you how to illustrate out uh, the new iTunes app icon inside of Adobe Illustrator. So make sure to stay tuned because that's coming right up. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Design with Bunny. I'm Bunny, and in this video, I will show you the process of uh, tracing out the new iTunes app icon inside of Adobe Illustrator. So, if you're new to my channel, then I upload these kind of logo design videos and uh, logo design tutorials and all, uh, all kinds of graphic design tutorials as well. So, make sure to subscribe and let's jump into the video. So, as always, I have uh, here uh, an artboard of 1000 pixels wide and 1000 pixels tall with me. And now I'm gonna set my fill to none and my stroke to a solid color. Uh, now, luckily for me, I have uh, the new iTunes uh, store uh, app icon in my clipboard. Now, while selecting this, I'm gonna go to Object, Lock, and Selection. I was gonna do is gonna lock that. And uh, I'm gonna also do is select that and we're gonna set the dim images to 50 or you can just indirectly check the template and change the color to uh, black. Now I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna add a rounded rectangle. Now uh, we can adjust our radius uh, of the curving uh, properties by actually messing up with this handle. Now you can see we have something uh, quite presentable. We can just always give it a stroke and we know we have something here. Now we can just open up the star tool again if you want to know more about these shapes you'll check on my video on that specific topic. We can lay out a star in here and we can always adjust these points with the direct selection tool, so now uh, that's not going to be a problem. Uh oh, so it's getting along the exact radius and things like that. You can just manually change it and replace these. Now, what we can do is we can just add some of uh, the roundedness to the corners. Um, and what we can do, another thing is great partitions. Oh, and by the way of speaking partitions, if you don't know about my 3D logo design prism tutorial, make sure to check it out, a really nice tutorial for me at least. Now, after the partitions has been made, I'm gonna select this inner pentagon, I'm gonna press Ctrl C and press Ctrl F, and now I'm gonna make this one shape like this, or whatsoever. Now, this hasn't been made correctly, that's why it's not allowing me. Now I'm gonna press uh, select the inner pentagon, I'm gonna press Control c Control f now I'm gonna select the shape, builder to I hit that so it makes this shape as whole. Um, now I'm gonna select everything, I'm gonna hold shift and click this hexagon and the outer edge. So we have the selection of these are all. Now we can just make this as a whole shape. So now you can see what we have here. Now we can just change the color actually to black. We can change this color to something else so we can see this. And we can change this color to something something else. So now that's uh, now the time for creating the gradient. So now assign we can create a square, we can capture uh, this color and we can add a duplicate using alt and we can capture this color. So now we can create one another and that's gonna be gradient. Now in there we can just set the color mode from grayscale or anything to RGB, if not, that's not already the color. Now we can just copy this color code and paste this into the first color uh, there. So RGB again, and change this to this, and we can 
copy out the second colors hex code and paste this into the second gradient color base. Now that we have the gradient we want, we can just add just uh, the gradient how we want. Let's uh, see. Okay, so once we have an understanding of uh, where the gradient would be working along, we can just adjust that. So yeah, just like that. We can just delete this gradient. And we can set the star to a white color, the opacity to something like, well maybe 80%. And let's select the inner one to be exact same. Uh, let's do it maybe fifty percent, or maybe um, seventy-five percent. So yeah, this is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like on the video. If you loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. This has been Muni, and until then, see you later.